How is it going, everybody? We are back at Apodiva in Sikihua in the Philippines. And this week we saw so many sea slugs that I decided to make a brief video explaining what's the difference between nudibranchs, sea slugs and flatworms, which might be confused. Now, what we're looking at here is a nudibranch. Nudie as in naked and branch as in gills. So this is a slug, it's a mollusk, a gastropod with naked gills. So it is one particular type of slug and you can always see these rhinopores in the front facing left on this one and these are olfactory organs and they always have gills which are exposed. They're not in a body cavity. So the, these nudibranchs are one particular type of sea slug and they have evolved into a great number of species, thousands in the tropical Indo-Pacific. I'm speculating that this happened because of extreme food specialization. So they're going for very particular types of sponges or other invertebrates. So these are beloved by divers. Now, this is a pleurobranch. It's also a mollusk. It's also a gastropod. It's a slug but it's not a nudibranch. So there are a number of mollusks, of slugs, which are not nudibranchs. And in these, the gills are in the body cavity. Now, here I even captured two of them mating. Most of these are hermaphrodites, the male and female at the same time. This is the famous Sean the sheep sea slug, which it's a sarcoglossan again, it's a gastropod, it's a mollusk, but it's not a nudibranch. So every nudibranch is a sea slug, but not every sea slug is a nudibranch. That's probably a good way of putting it. So these shown the sheeps are fantastic to look at. Now, among the mollusks, also the bivalves. So here we see giant clams, which are the largest bivalves in existence. But there are also, of course, many smaller ones, which are, you know, popular seafood. So these are mollusks, but they're not slugs. So the mollusks are a film which encompasses the, the gastropods, the, the snails and slugs, and the bivalves and the cephalopods. So here we see a wonderpus, so the octopi, squid and cuttlefish. They're also mollusks. The not gastropods. So the mollusks are the film here, the bigger grouping. Now, this is a fantastic piece of footage actually. This is a, a, taken during a night dive in Sikihua, and uh, this is a very rare octopus. And of course, you can get a number of different octopi which, uh, which are much more frequent and uh, you know the squid and the cuttlefish also belong into this group of cephalopods which are mollusks they are they're very behaviorally complex now what looks like a new prank or a sea slug somewhat but what is quite different are the flatworms so these are much simpler animals they are in a different film and they are also quite species rich in the indo-pacific uh, the internal anatomy is um, much less sophisticated than those of mollusks. So these are not sea slugs, these are not mollusks, these are flatworms. They're both very colorful and very species rich, but they're actually very different types of animals. So I hope this helped. Um, have a good one and see you soon.